What's going on y'all? Today we're going to be trying to put an LS engine onto an older LT style engine cradle. Here's the engine cradle that I'm going to be using. So it's for the small block Chevys, the older LT style engines. I'm going to try to be uh, putting on this LS style engine onto here. I seen that it was pretty simple. <laughs> We're gonna have to notch the tabs on the side so it could fit the block, but it should be straightforward install after that. Here's everything that came in the box. You got your parts list right here, and then a rough uh, diagram of how this is supposed to be set up. Looks pretty simple. I did get the one with the wheel so I can roll this around, which I'm assuming the wheels are in here. Or this is the front. It's that right there, and then the left and the right side of the cradle. Somewhere up here is where you're gonna need a notch, or maybe a little bit outside of that. We'll see once we get the LS uh, somewhat mounted on here where exactly we have to trim. Go ahead and put on the crush washer and then the flat washer and then thread those two into this front part right here. Put these up here. And then once you get those threaded in there, I'm gonna lift this up, put the washer on there, then that locking nut right there. And then you'll use a 19 millimeter to torque down the wheels. One thing that I noticed when trying to tighten this nut down is that the bottom side of the nut is just gonna spin. There's no real way to hold this on. So I'm gonna take this wheel off, try to put a socket on that side and see if that works. So with the engine lowered onto the cradle, if you come back to the back side, you can see where the back two posts are supposed to line up. This dowel, I believe it's called, makes it flush in the hole right there. But if you come around to this side, you can see this hole does line up with the block, but this piece right here hits this part of the block right there. So as expected, we're gonna trim down the front piece on the engine's right side. Then we move over here to the left side and it's gonna be the same thing. So both front pieces need to be trimmed. We just kind of went around the side so that there's no sharp edges, but right outside the weld. So I'm gonna go ahead, go on to this piece and down here, cut that off and then we'll go ahead and throw this back onto the engine. Some unexpected fitment issues. These holes need to be beveled. It's like another half inch more to the uh, front, maybe even an inch, I would say. And that side, along with this side, as you can see right there, these holes don't quite line up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the Dremel, Dremel these holes a little bit more, and then that should be good to go. I didn't realize that this is gonna be a little bit more work, but cutting the tabs off of the front, you don't need to go as close to the weld as I did. Can leave a little bit more, especially on this side. This side doesn't need to be cut that close. Okay, so I am hoping that this is enough. Hopefully I did too much because this was definitely a pain in the ass to cut out. So I got a Dremel and I just followed this line straight, followed this line, and then after that, I went this way with it on the front side and then a little bit deeper on the back side of here. And I took some needle nose and some channel locks. It's actually still pretty warm. And then I went ahead and then just worked this kind of back and forth a little bit until it popped off. I would say at least a half an inch that you're gonna wanna cut off. And this will be able to fit on there perfectly fine. This is the LT engine cradle on an LS style engine. I went half an inch uh, forward on this side, cut that. As you can see, it was a little bit more than I needed, but whenever you're lining this up, you are gonna need that extra play. So I would recommend at least a um, half inch. I don't know if you can see up there, you can see a little bit of light on the front piece down here as well. You can see a little bit. So yeah, I'd recommend doing a half inch on there. You don't have to touch anything back here. 
This was a little bit more work than expected. I thought all I was gonna have to do was notch this and then be good, but that's not the case. But it's still doable. So I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod and see if there's any flex in this engine cradle once the whole weight of the engine is on it. Like I was saying, this is still on that engine hoist. So I'm just gonna leave the pressure and yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. There was no uh, flex whenever I lowered this down. Yeah, thing's solid, it's on there. So that's gonna pretty much do it for today's video. It was just a somewhat how-to on the LT style engine cradle to an LS. So if it works for y'all, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Catch y'all in the next one. Later.